Welcome to Keto on the Couch with Rachel and Joe. I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Yes, welcome to the more than 250 new subscribers since the last Keto on the Couch. Yeah, now here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then once a week, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is Two Crazy Ketos. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So, it has been a fun week. It really has. It's gone by fast, but it has been awesome. Well, part of it is because we filmed Keto on the Couch last week on Sunday, and then I had to scramble to edit it for Monday morning. I feel like I look crazy in that one, because I mean, you're like, you're, you're just, you've gone the whole weekend. We and... went the whole weekend, and we did it like after church, so it was like already being tired and stuff. <laughs> but so we're filming this like two days. It's like this is our normal day to film it on Friday, but it's like two days sooner than normal because normally there's seven days in between keto and the couch. But I feel so like happy and refreshed. Like yeah. I may come across as like too intense, right? <laughs> So yeah, and but it's been a fun week, right? It, it was a been. fun week with our videos. We had a couple of different types of videos go up. We did that video, which I was like so scared to put up. You were. The one about um, like strict versus dirty versus lazy keto. Because if you go into the forums, I mean, that is a topic that just like brings out like the anger in people. I can't even go into forums for the most part because yeah, I can't, I, I'm just not that intense. <laughs> It's just, it's amazing when you go in and people are just like yelling, you're not doing right keto right. And that's why we made that video because it doesn't matter to me. Like so long as you're doing something positive and you're eating the definition of keto, high fat, high fat, moderate protein, low carb, you're doing good. There are a couple of subscribers even put like in the comment section, keto means ketogenic. It means you're producing ketones. You're good. Yeah. You know, and the whole goal of that was not to say you're doing it wrong or you're doing it right. It was, it doesn't matter. It's a progression. Well, I just thank the Lord every single morning I get to wake up and have an opportunity to encourage people. Yes. So that is all I want to do. I feel like that is my life mission is to be an encourager to folks. And so anything other than encouragement, just like it doesn't register yeah. with me. And we are far from strict, strict keto. Obviously. I mean, we try to be somewhat strict. I mean, for the most, the, the biggest thing that we are really strict on is the oils. If we have anything, any kind of like inflammatory oil, like canola oil or something like that, it's once every couple months if we go out to eat and we didn't have a choice, right? Yeah. You know, if we happen to order wings or something, that's about the only thing that we're super strict on, right? Yeah. Then I think we're pretty strict on the eggs. I'd say 90, 99% of the time we eat pasture raised eggs. Mm -hmm. And then after that, it's like whatever we can afford. <laughs> well, and I think the pasture raised eggs came about once we started tasting them and there was yeah. such a taste difference that it had no, like it didn't have anything to do with how good we were being. Right. It was more about, wow, that well, tastes delicious. For me, it was that there is a huge health benefit to eating pasture raised eggs. You're still getting like the same vitamins and stuff, but the omega-3, omega-6 ratio is better. I mean, there, there are some health benefits. Then you add in the taste and it's just incredible. For but, me, it's the opposite. <laughs> it's like, what tastes good? Like, that tastes good. Really good. Well, you're not getting all of the soy and all the garbage that they would be feeding, like, the eggs that are just 99 cents a dozen, you know? Then you're getting chickens that are being fed GMO feed and all that kind of stuff. So, but, you know, when it comes to, like, the pasture-raised meats and stuff like that, I'd say we're only, like, 50% of that because we can't afford to always be eating, yeah. like, grass-fed, grass-finished ribeye steaks. It's when we find a deal. Right. Pretty much. Before we even get into the really exciting stuff, how did the scale treat you this week? I didn't get on the scale. Oh, you didn't get on the scale. I'm still not going on and I'm not kidding. I wasn't joking. Like I, and I've enjoyed my life. I'll tell you what I did do. I went through my closet and got rid yes. of two bags, two big garbage bags worth of clothes because, um, you know, I had a couple of things where it was roomy. Right. Roomy in, in my shirts and stuff. And I, I just got did rid of them. Did you get rid of your period pants? I did get rid of my period <laughs> pants, all of them. Like, you know, they've they've gone down as I've lost weight. Um, but yeah, I got rid of my I've period done that pants. so many times where I just go through the closet and I purge 
everything that like, if, if I can put like three fingers extra inside of the waistband, it's going because like I'm giving myself no possible way to gain any weight. This way, if I put it, if I can barely button it up, you're off the deep end, Joe. Better bet back on. Except for the difference was I got rid of two bags of clothing and donated them to our local thrift store. I get home today with Caleb, and here comes Anthony and Joe with two bags of new clothes for themselves. Well, yeah, but see, I just did it the opposite of you. We went to Hollister and found, like, incredible deal. Like, go to the clearance rack, and then it was 30% off of the clearance prices. So, like, oh, I got, yeah. like, this, 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 like... This is a real lightweight hoodie because I love lightweight hoodies. This mm -hmm. is like my favorite thing. It's like very light, like it's a t-shirt, but it's a hoodie. Yeah. And this was like normally like $45. It was marked down to $18, 30% off of that. And then I had a coupon on top of that for 20% off if you bought three items. Wow. So like I ended up going home with like four of these hoodies. I got a couple for Caleb and like six t-shirts and I didn't even spend a hundred bucks. I love like how you guys fight over clothes now. Yeah. Oh, the the cashier was in Hollister was hysterically laughing because like Anthony had a shirt, I wanted it, but he grabbed it first. So then he was checking out over on the other side and he was only getting 10% off because he only had two items that qualified for that. So I'm like, "Well, where's your other shirt that you were getting?" He's like, "You know, I'll I'll put it with my stuff and you can get 20% off." And he's like, "Oh, no, no, I put it back." So I like turn around and grab it off. The guy's like, what's that about? And I'm like, we're not allowed to wear by the Shane's shirts all the time. Like nobody in our house is allowed to wear the same shirt. If I have a black jean jacket, nobody else can have the same black jean jacket. <laughs> See, I mean, it's just hysterical the way we fight over the clothes. I never have to have that fight. No, you don't. No one is trying to, you know, wear my like Gremlins t-shirt or my like, you know, sparkly skirt. So I came home with, now I have like a bunch of new t-shirts and I have a couple new hoodies, but there, we have small closets. They're super small. And so, like, I had to start going through the closet, and I probably threw out, like, 30 or 40 shirts, you yeah. know? Just, like, stuff that were, like, oop, that was an extra large. How is that still in there? Like, oop, that's a big large. Throw that one out, too, you know? Caleb and I missed the trip to the mall because we were back at the college trying to straighten out financial aid for the fourth time. Now it's just, like, comical. Right. Because it's just, it's just weird. You think these things get handled so quickly and it's like, no. He's starting school in like two weeks and they're still like straightening things out in the computer system. So I know everything's gonna work out well, but it is a little bit hilarious. Your clothes are fitting better. They are. Right? You're still maintaining after the Keto Shout Challenge. You look fantastic. I'm enjoying You've life. You've purged your closet. You're ready to go to the thrift store now. I am. Tomorrow is half off on everything. So I think I may have to make a little trip there before church. I did want to say with regards to that one video that we did, and we've got another one coming out where we're going to be talking about like- A little bit of a touchy subject. Another touchy subject, some. right? Total versus net carbs. But I wanted to say, if you guys have any other topics like that that you want us to talk about, yeah. let us know down in the comment section, what are some like keto topics you'd like to see us hit on? Like we're going to actually go back and redo like the how to do keto because there's obviously new people watching it. and. We've also kind of changed our opinion about the best way to get started and mm -hmm. especially as science has changed and things like that. But let us know down in the comment section some of the different keto topics that you would like to see us discuss. Um, but I've got incredible news. I've got Rachel getting into a gym now. Well. So, sort of. Sort of. Sort of. Home so, gym. So I was talking to like Keto Savage, Robert Sykes, about like, you know, different things that we can do to work on muscle. And I'm like, can you give me some ideas to Without do? Without a gym? Like, I'm like, he's like, well, like, what is like, what is your training schedule like? I'm like, Rachel, training, gym? Like, how do I laugh over the computer without just writing LOL? Yeah. Right? And so he suggested these, these resistance bands. This looks like giant rubber bands. So we're gonna try these out. So um, we're not affiliated with this company or anything. These are the ones he recommended. He said, don't get the, one, the cheap ones on Amazon. Um, but, How much were these? Um, I think it was like, like the bands themselves are like $80. Wow. For the, for the whole set. Oh, for this whole set. For the thing. whole set. And then I got a training program, but don't open it. You're never going to be able to open that band, so don't even try Wait, to stretch that band. Can I fill this one? So let's, you're going to start with this one. <laughs> it looks like a shoelace. This is the one you're going to end up starting with. Oh my gosh. So. Am I going to use it to like hit iguanas with rocks or something? So like, that, that's probably where you'll start. 
Oh my God. So anyway, so yeah, we're really excited about, we're gonna do some resistance band training because I know that even like, um, Robert's actually got like one of the guys who's helping like coach and train with him. That's a bracelet. And this is what he does. He doesn't use weights. He only uses resistance bands. And you can build muscle with and this. And you can build muscle. Nuh-uh. Yeah. So we bought this set. There's an, actually another band in here too. And we bought it with like a weightlifting program that, that Robert like suggested. Oh my Where gosh. every day you go through that gives you four sets of exercises. Every day you're working like a different muscle group. And we're gonna start building some muscle on Rachel. Oh my gosh, this looks like Cinderella dressed in yellow. <laughs> One upstairs to kiss a fella. Made a mistake, kissed a snake. How many kisses did, or how many doctors did it take? Are you done? Yeah, that okay. looks like a jump rope. So we'll let you guys know how this is going along. Uh, maybe we'll actually film Rachel using them one day. Oh, Lord. <laughs> no one wants to so see that. I'll, I will leave a link for these. Again, we're not sponsored or anything by them. So we're soft. not affiliated with them. But, again, these are the ones that Robert actually What's it called? suggested. It's called Undersun Fitness. Undersun. Um, and there's a lot of them on. You can get a lot of them on Amazon, like, super cheap. And I did order a set on um, Prime Day Oh. because these were sold out. And Rob, before he could respond to me, you know, Savage was like, don't get the ones on there, they're garbage. And I got news for you, they're garbage. They're sitting in the front room and going back to Amazon tomorrow. You've got to hide these because this week, Tabitha has eaten a rug. What else did she eat? The rug eat? was last week. Oh, she ate a bra. She ate, she a ate bra. one of my bras. I, don't I know. just All of a sudden, it. she got back into chewing again. She hasn't chewed in months. And no. Because she's feeling better. She's oh. no longer chewing fleas. So she's like, I and her choose. body. Yeah, I don't know. She can't. She comes out, and she's got my bra hanging out. I just got that thing too. Fortunately, it was an expensive bra. It was like six bucks from Burlington Coat Factory, but still, it was and, my new bra. And this wasn't like she was left alone. This was like overnight sleeping yeah. under our bed. Yeah, while I'm innocently sleeping, she's chewing on my fake boobs. What's my stevia? Had it. Oh, my no. stevia. That's grape. I know. It's the best one. Make good choices. Okay, so you want to give our good news? We've got exciting, exciting news. Super good. Like I should we out. say it or should we just put it on the screen? Let's put it on the screen. So we're gonna put it up on the screen right now. So how about that? Oh my goodness, I am so excited. It's better for us to put it on the screen because I was gonna scream. And then you're gonna blow out the microphone. Yeah, I was dancing in my giraffe onesie when I found out about that. Yeah, we are super excited. So we were already planning on going to Keto Salt Lake next year. Heck yes. There are so many keto companies based out of Utah. So we are going out there and uh, we're gonna be uh, like emceeing and stuff at Keto Salt Lake. So if you are in the area, if you're trying to decide whether you should go, definitely go get the tickets right now. I think they're doing like um, like an early bird special. It's only like $100 to go. Oh my gosh. Like for the weekend. You Let's know. go hang out. As opposed to a lot of these conferences are like $300, $400. We were looking yeah. at one in Boca that's coming up in January. It's $400 a person to get right. into. Right. I mean, like it's in our backyard, but we have to think about it because that's almost like... $800 and we don't even need a hotel. I know. <laughs> like that was a, that's a little daunting for us. But um, yeah, no, I am so excited. And like if you're in the area, I would love to hang out with you guys. Yeah, like, so leave a so link cool? down... Leave a, we'll leave a link down below for you to get tickets if you are interested in that. But yeah, we're... We are super, super excited about being able to MC and be speaking at Keto Salt Lake. I'm so excited. And I am planning on going over to Redmond. I want to tour the salt mines. Heck yes, yeah. let's do that. Yeah. I'm going to eat a bunch of salt. <laughs> I'm going to lick the wall. We're going to have to call security. <laughs> We're not leaving until we're escorted out. And you understand, like, this is a woman that hasn't had any alcohol. This is what I live with every day. Sorry. <laughs> so, I guess this week for food, we, we were pretty boring again, right? People keep asking us, like, can you have, like, uh, like what I eat in a day? Which we're going to do that, but... Honestly, like our food intake is pretty boring. We're just keeping it simple. We keep it super simple. Rarely do we make like extensive recipes and stuff. Once in a blue moon, if I'm kind of playing around or testing something for the channel or something like that. We did um, have a Wawa salad. Like basically they take their sub and they put it into a bowl. Yeah, because you know, like I go to Wawa every day. I don't even go in anymore. 
But the kids go in, they get their soda. Well, Anthony, you get gas. I get well. I, yeah, but that doesn't count towards the reward points, the gas. Yeah. So just like going into the store, every fifty dollars you get a free reward. Oh, nice. And so like you know buying ice, which I only have to buy ice once a week with that Engel cooler. And wow. so, but Anthony gets a drink. Sometimes he gets a soda or whatever. So it builds up. And my fifty dollar reward this week was a free sub. Nice. And so I just went in and that's what we got. So we just got like the sub and I tell the girl, girl like no bread, just throw it all in a bowl. I, and tell her if you do this, tell them you want it in the big bowl because they have two different size salad bowls. Say, can you put it in the big salad bowl? And then they like overload it. And for $5, like I barely needed dinner. I was so full from just like the classic size sub mm -hmm. and then like the lettuce and everything else. It was beautiful. Yeah, I tell them like I get, we get a lot, of, most of the sides. We don't get any of the tomatoes because that's carby. We don't get the onions. We get like, the lettuce, spinach, the cucumbers, mm -hmm. pickles, banana peppers, jalapeno peppers. And the meat is really good. Yeah, we get the meat. I mean, but again, that's not super strict keto. It is lunch meat, but go. it's a treat for ourselves. Yeah. We don't put any of the oil on it, right? We always just bring it home and throw mayonnaise on it ourselves. Right. You know, and same thing usually with the salt. I was thinking we need to try the pin Dutch one. There's yeah. a pin Dutch one. They He's done it for me sense. too. He's done it in the salad too. But you just can't beat that five dollars at Wawa. And just they're so nice about it. Like, you know, never give you a hard time about going up like, hey, I know I ordered this, but can you do it? Yeah. So So you want to do some comments? Because like I said, our food was kind of boring. Oh wait, the one thing we did do for food that was interesting this week is I'm experimenting with keto chow recipes because that has number been one, fun. a lot of people have asked for it, but also keto chow if any of you, Miss Beth, are like into baking and cooking, they're having a like giveaway, not a giveaway, but a- Like a contest? A contest for recipes. So if you submit your recipes to them, like that you've come up with, mm -hmm. along with pictures and stuff, and they're going to have a meetup out there in Utah sometime in the end of August. So you have to get it to them by August 10th, but they're gonna take the top five recipes, they're gonna put them out at their meetup, they're gonna let people try them, and then the winner gets, I think, a three hundred and fifty dollars spending spree. Okay. On Keto Chow's website. Wow. So it's worth it. I mean, just yeah. come up with a recipe and enter. So yeah, I've been, I've been like just kind of messing around. Little heads up of what we're working on. I'm working on a chili, the sloppy Joe, which I think I've got it. Mm -hmm. I think I just got to change a couple of things. Got a really awesome chewy cookie. Yes. Right. And we did a cheesecake. And I think that's the best cheesecake I've ever eaten in my life. Rachel doesn't not. like cheesecake. I do not usually like cheesecake, and it was crazy good. Yeah, it was, I think I've really nailed the recipe for cheesecake. And as bad as this sounds, because we just gave it away, I am going to attempt to recreate the high-key instant cereal, but with keto chow. Good luck. So that's that's my goal. I want to recreate that. All right. So, so that, that's been like the extent of like our not basic food this week is trying yeah. these different recipes. The little Joe test kitchen. And right now we have some rib smoking. So we need to get through this because I'm hungry. Me too. So you want to do comments? Yes, please. Okay. You know, giveaways and comments are my favorites. <laughs> Pull out the iPad. We've got to do subscriber of the week though. Oh, okay. So subscriber of the week. It's going to be a little different this week. How so? Um, I couldn't choose one. Aww. <laughs> There were so many people who this week put up like their stories or like what's happening with them so far. I couldn't really pick one, so I just grabbed a bunch of them. Well, I'm okay with that. That's <laughs> awesome. Okay, so the first one, Rachel didn't even know which ones they are, so I put the even the pictures right here in my iPad so that she can see them real quick. I love it. Look at this beautiful family. Okay, so the first one is from Sarah Patterson. Hi, Sarah. And it's for her family. They're all doing it together. With their child. Or I guess their husband, her and her husband. So she wrote, hi, Keto family. We are six months in. We are so happy to have found such an amazing lifestyle that is 100% sustainable for us. We are so happy to be able to run and play with our eight-year-old and keep up with him. Stay strong. Oh my goodness, this is precious. Look at that picture. They are aging backwards. Yeah, absolutely. They look like little baby parents now. It's like crazy. And it's so awesome. I mean, I'm so happy for you guys to be able to finding it like when your son is only eight years old and being able to have that instead of like the way we had to do it, like where we were having to like just run to try to keep up with them and like not being able to get on amusement park rides. It's so yeah. awesome that you're going to be able to enjoy such an incredible life at, when the, he's young. Yeah, just the energy and like all the memories that you're going to be able to make together as a family and now sustained health. Yep. 
and longevity. I love it. They're gorgeous. Okay, so the next one is from Luke Hatfield. I'm going to put Luke. his picture up here. He wrote, I just turned 47 two years ago, February. I quit smoking to be healthier. Wow. This February, I decided to go keto. Unlike most things, I did minimal research, <laughs> understood that carbs and starches were off the menu, and went to work. Got the keto flu a bit, and I upped my water consumption inherently. Uh, but I didn't do as well with the salt and electrolytes. After a couple of slight hiccups with discovering some foods that had carbs I wasn't aware of, I got dialed in. As of today, I am down 52 pounds. Wow. Having started at 296, and I'm now 243.8. That is fantastic. I'm six foot five and a little unsure on my goal weight. I felt thin at 190 as a young man, so I think I'm headed to 215, but I won't fight too hard if I slip past that. Wow. After an almost ignorant start, I've leveraged my time, all of my free time, which is a lot, as I travel with minimal work activities towards keto and my overall health information. I love that. I have over 700 hours now conservatively. Wow. And I am loosely coaching five people who are inspired by experience and de decided to go keto too. How great awesome is that, Awesome job, Luke. Luke. Congratulations. I love that he didn't leave it to himself, but yep. keep it to himself. He's like, I look forward to getting to know the group members, unlike my other hobbies of fishing and 3D printing, where I'm in dozens of interest Facebook groups. This is my first and likely one of only a few keto groups that I am going to frequent. And that's, he's in our- he In our Two our, Crazy Ketos group. Yeah, the Facebook family he said, group. bolstered by my shared Christian faith tied to the benefactors of the group. Almost forgot at two meals a day as not as hungry for breakfast and, and about ready to explore a one meal a day plan. I'm sitting at 2,200 calories and I'm not a calorie counter, counter or macro tracker. I occasionally check to see what I have eaten, just to be aware, but don't hate me for that, please. We don't hate you at all, that's awesome. So I love his little sign off. He said, have to find an appropriate salutation for here, so keep it low carb, fat makes you skinny, see a little less of you tomorrow. See a little less of you tomorrow. How and cute so is that? they saw the pictures, but you didn't. So there's his before oh picture. Oh my goodness! And there's his after wow. picture. Wow! So again, you can so just see it right in the face. Looking. Isn't that awesome? Oh my goodness! Okay, so the next one. I'm sorry, guys, but these were just too good to not share. They are awesome. So the next one is from Gayla. Hey, Gayla. I think that's how you pronounce it. And uh, so I'll put her pictures up here. Look at her gorgeous hair. So she wrote just a little inspiration for someone today. 13 months into my keto journey. Four 43 pounds down, wow. 16 plus inches. Oh my goodness. Look at how much room I have left in my shirt now. I haven't had this much energy since high school. I started going to the gym three and a half months ago and it has helped so much. I am halfway to my goal. Oh my goodness, you are gorgeous. Look at this beautiful woman. Oh my goodness, this is exciting. And I like that. You didn't even see the other pictures. Oh my goodness, she is lovely. Gayla, <laughs> you are gorgeous. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I love that both of them are talking about more about like how they feel yep. size wise than being concerned about like the pounds. Like That's the right. pounds is is neat, but like where he said maybe 215, I don't know how I'm going to feel. Like yeah, that's exactly the way to handle Again, it. Again, if you would have told me I, I, my goal weight was 220 pounds. That was my goal weight. You know, if you would have told me 180 pounds, I, I used to joke with Rachel, be like, no guy should be under 190 pounds, right? Isn't that what I used yeah. to say? No six foot guy should be under 190 pounds, but just never expected. And I feel like I look good, I feel good, and so I was it's happy with you it. Feel. It's what you it's you'll be surprised where you are when you get to that goal. And I'm really glad that Gayla kept the same shirt. I definitely recommend you at least keep one outfit or shirt or something so that you can really see the difference you from did beginning do that to end. From like you did that like when your first time you lost weight with the calorie restricting. I have a picture of you, I'll put it up. When you were camping and when you were that huge size and weighed 250 pounds and then mm -hmm. we went camping and you had brought it with it and we had a picture of like the kids inside of it. We with actually you. fit a child inside the shirt with me. Yeah. I'd lost okay, a child. Okay, so the last one. This is from Sarah Thornton. Hi, Sarah. So Sarah wrote, I'll put her picture up here. I hope everyone has a great week. I thought I would post my before and after. It was hard to find a before picture of me. I've avoided photos for a very long time. I totally hear her there. This picture is from nine years ago and really depicts my size. After my husband died in 2015, I lost 50 pounds. I called it the widow diet. Mm -hmm. I, put, I put a majority of the weight back on over the years. And in December of 2018, I went to my doctor who told me again, I need to lose weight. I nodded again. I agreed to work hard and get the weight off. And I would come back in three months having lost 10 pounds. 
This was the pattern that I've had a majority of my adult life. I was so tired all the time that I often had to choose between cleaning or sleeping and shopping. Yeah. I could never do more than one thing each night. I'd diet for two weeks, then I'd give up. This time, however, he prescribed me another diabetes medication to help the ones I was already on. I went to the pharmacy to fill it, beating myself up the entire way, and was told that it is going to cost $200 a month to take this new medication. I couldn't afford it, was told if I didn't take it by my doctor that I would be too sick to work, live, or raise my daughter in the next year. Wow. Well, it was time to try to lose weight again. A friend of mine at work was doing keto diet for six months. I thought she was nuts. (laughs) I kept insisting this would not be good for my heart to eat that much fat. After the doctor visit, I decided to try it for six weeks. I signed up for my work's holiday trimmings program to try to win a $100 gift card for losing weight. That's a good incentive. Hey, that's what got me started, right? A weight loss bet. Mm -hmm. Guess what? I won each week's weigh-in and the grand prize. And I haven't stopped since. I've lost 50 pounds since. Wow. The doctor took me off all but one of my medications. Oh, that's awesome. And is using my experience to encourage his other patients to try keto. What a great doctor. It is not always easy, but I am so happy with how I feel. I have so much energy, and th- though the scale likes to be the devil, it is the I devil. am down six sizes. Wow. I hope everyone just starting this journey is able to feel the way I do. And since they saw the picture, but okay. you didn't. So that's a before. There's her before, and there's oh, her after. Oh, wow. What a difference. Oh, my goodness, Sarah. I am so excited for you, and I'm excited for your daughter and like just what your future holds. Yes, the scale is the devil, cause yeah, it tells us one, six sizes, Yeah. six sizes. That is huge. That is life changing, really. Yep. I am so glad you're sticking with it and whatever it is that's like an incentive to get started, like I love these work bets, workplace bets. If you're in like a social Again. club, you're in a church, it was a church bet yep. that got him started. Um, looking into weight loss options. So yeah, if you've got, if maybe you're going into the holidays and you've got family members that haven't made any like decisions to kind of get healthy, hey, maybe say we're gonna have a holiday like family bet, whatever it takes, right? Yep. I mean, I also good love in reading that story, and I mean, congratulations to all you guys. And the ones that I didn't pick up, I'm sorry. I mean. I could have just kept reading them. It's been amazing. Um, so, but, and we'll probably add a few more next week. I mean, yeah. it was just, it, it's so inspirational and I want to be able to share it for some people who aren't on our Facebook group. And if you aren't, you know, again, I'll leave, there's a link down in the description. Go join our Facebook family group. We have like it's over free. 400 members in there. It's completely free and people who encourage, I mean, just reading these stories is encouraging to me. You know, but I love where you wrote, like you said, when you going into the keto diet, you were going to give it six weeks. Yeah. Like you weren't like, well, I'm going to do this for a week and see how it works. Like, no. It's six weeks, six weeks. That and was a good commitment. I forgot what was that one that we saw last night. We saw a thing like it, it takes like a certain amount of time to break a habit mm-hmm. and like, but it's not 90 days to make it a lifestyle. There you go. Right. And, but to say that I'm going to give this six weeks and see what happens. I mean, a lot can happen on keto in six weeks. But too many people say like, I'm going to do keto for two or three weeks. Well, you're just getting over the keto flu at that point. Yeah. Like why go through the keto flu and then not try to see if, if you get, you know, more momentum after right. that. Like it, if you survive the keto flu, keep going. Yep. So congratulations to you and everybody and everybody who's had success that maybe that you haven't put a story up yet or we didn't get to it. I just stopped after I found four of them. I just was like, I can't go anymore. It's amazing. And and I really do think it like helps, you know, if you're, if you're having a stall to see somebody else be like, okay, I kept going and you can see, you know, the light at the end of the tunnel, you yeah. know, it's just an encouragement to keep going. And especially join our group if you don't have other family members maybe doing the keto um, lifestyle with you yeah. so that you you have and it's actually more than 500 members in that group now it keeps going up every time i check and so and, and it's not even just keto. people are just talking about their life i mean i don't know if you saw this morning poor poor tara put up a thing tara, she got like poison ivy we love you and but oh my goodness her positive attitude she actually <laughs> posted a picture of her with poison ivy all, all over, over her, her face beautiful face and she was like, I'm going to see what are five ways that I can turn this into a positive and see this in a positive light. Yep. So that's really like the whole atmosphere of that family group. And so if you just need more positivity in your life, 
I would Go join, join it, it just for that. So let's get the comments. All right. Okay, first one. Got to start off with the funny guy, right? Did the J. Talk about a ball buster, the spy device. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's awesome. <laughs> okay, Julia wrote. Hi, Julia. I love your haircut. Glad oh. you got pampered too. You guys are the best. Thank you, Julia. A lot of people like your hair. I appreciate that. Uh, Heather Lomax wrote, Howdy, Hi. hey. Rachel, I honestly love the shorter length in back on you. Oh, thank the you. The cut is truly complimentary. It looks great. I appreciate that. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Okay, so Liz Keith wrote. Hi, Liz. I say if keto products, are, this is on the keto products we talked about last week. Okay. She said, I say if keto products are available for travelers and people on the go, it's wonderful. Absolutely. There was a time where you couldn't find a McDonald's at every corner, so maybe there'll be fast keto places eventually. I think there will. I think in the next year or two, you're going to see more places that spring up that'll just be keto. Yeah. Won't that be cool? Yeah. I mean, and it's the same thing with the products. I mean, people ask us all the time, like, why are you reviewing so many products? And it's just because there's so many coming on the market and some of them aren't good. There's some potholes out there. Yeah. We don't want you to fall into that. Yeah. So if we're able to get them out of the keto crate, if we're able to get them like when we go to a convention or if a company happens to send them to us, then like we happily will review them. Not that we're trying to push them. We're trying to tell you like, yeah, this is a good product or no, this is not a good product. Because the one thing I will say about keto products are they aren't always cheap. Yeah. Either. So not only do I not want you to get something that's going to like trigger bad behavior, be an obstacle to your diet, but I also don't want you to spend your hard earned money on something for convenience sake and then it'd be junk. Right. And it's kind of funny with you and I because like we each have a very different taste bud. We do. So we have a lot of times where I really like it and you really don't. So when we both don't like it, you definitely don't want to buy it. Yeah. So there's, and, and it's funny because there's, de I think there's definitely people out there that either have your palate or have my palate. So right. like their comment will be like, Rachel's spot on and Joe's crazy or Joe is crazy, you know, spot on and Rachel's crazy. Yeah. Noelle and Beth. Hey, Miss Beth. For me, having keto products comes down to joy. Enjoying dessert brings me joy. I can't imagine going through life without it. Many people aren't great at baking and need outside help. I love the products that came out of someone else's kitchen. Hmm. Before processed food, everything comes out of someone's kitchen. That's very true. They are sharing their talents with the rest of the keto community. I Absolutely. love that. Yeah, that's good. They didn't like bury their talents, right? They, yeah. They're sharing it with everybody and we're all benefiting from it. Yeah. yeah. And that's that. my thing. It's the same thing. You know, it comes down to... You know, it, it goes back to the strict versus dirty versus la lazy. If you tell me that, well, the only way that you can do keto is you can never have a dessert again, why am I going to want to stay keto? I yeah. want to enjoy stuff once in a while. I mean, if that's something that's like your focus is to be that strict and, and you totally just see food as... Nothing a, wrong with it. No, I mean, if you just see food as a total fuel source and you're not interested in really like, in you know, enjoying your meal, you're just using it for fuel and, you know, you find your joy someplace else, like... That's totally fine too. Right. But um, but for me, yeah, I can't think of like living the rest of my life and never having a dessert yeah. or never having a snack. And for us, we we choose to never have a carb day. Like never had yeah. a carb day since you know, like I started except for that one day of Christmas, which it wasn't even really a carb day. I ate like less than a hundred carbs for the whole day. So we need some keto and snacks. So like for me, it's like I want to have keto snack options because I'm not willing to go and have a carb day where you know what for birthday for a birthday I'm not having a cupcake. I know it's my birthday. I'm not doing it. I'm if I can't have a keto option, I'm not going to have it. So, so I mean, you could it's have important a, to me to a have a keto products. cupcake, but you yeah, wouldn't have I like won't a, have traditional... a regular traditional cupcake. Yeah. Doll I wrote. Hi, Doll. Some of the new keto products are just companies that are hopping on the keto gravy train. True. It's wonderful to have you here for us to sort of hold these companies accountable. If they know we're watching, they're going to keep it real. Newbies are especially vulnerable to falling victim to false advertising and fancy labels, which could eventually hinder their progress or cause them to quit. I think that's very true. Right. And I mean, even throughout like my entire life, packaging can really be an obstacle for me. I'm looking at this thing and it's got a drawstring bag and it's artisanal looking and the font is beautiful. And they can say like, this is great for you. And and I've fallen for it before just by the outside right. packaging. And um, unless you have somebody that's kind of breaking it down for you, like you can get into trouble. Yeah, so. especially when it comes to keto and people think like cauliflower, keto, right? Cauli and you go into like Whole Foods, what I see those cauliflower crackers all the time yeah. until you turn over the back and you look at it and you're like, ah, no. But yeah, it depends most on what it 
they add to it. Yeah, and some people are, that are new to keto are going to pick that up. Who They don't have to know how to read a nutrition label yet, and mm -hmm. they're going to buy it. So. so Greg McManus wrote... Hi, Greg. Oh, we're into the VCR ones now. Oh. <laughs> he wrote, remember the rewinding devices that people bought? I had one of those. We had a Cadillac <laughs> version. It was like a 1950s Cadillac that you put the tape in. It was like really cute. <laughs> He wrote, allegedly to save the tape from the heat of the VCR while we're winding. Some people under 25 will never understand this. I know. Seriously, we were talking this week at the at the church offices with like a younger person from church and they were talking about like how they didn't know what the AOL dial-up sound was. Like, you've got mail. And like, <laughs> well, you're like waiting for your internet to like load. And um, we were talking about how you know, you'd be checking your email at night and your parents would hear that AOL yep. sound and you'd be like, shh, be quiet. But yeah, like there's so much that this generation will never even know about. Right? My first computer was a TI-99 and you actually had to, we got it at the same time we got our first color television when I was 13 or 14 years old. Did it have a crank? No, but when you wanted to save something you did, you had to save it to a cassette. Oh, wow. And it, it did the same thing. You plugged a, a regular cassette player in into the computer, and it had those same dial-up sounds that you would have from dial-up oh, internet. I'd be like, stop. I'm trying to check and see if like I got an email, and it's like midnight, and my dad's going to kill me if he wakes up. <laughs> okay, Sarah L. wrote. Hi, Sarah. I remember the emotional roller coaster of going to the video rental place and seeing if they had what you wanted to watch. Yes, because that could either make or break your Friday night, right? Like yep. they would, especially if you didn't get there early. I can remember like yelling at my mom to like, please let's hurry and get to Blockbuster Video because you don't understand. I'm going to have to watch Weekend at Bernie's 15. If we don't get there, I won't get the tape that I want, right? I want to watch Three Musketeers. I don't want to have to watch like this like crappy movie but speaking of your mom i think she's the last person on earth doesn't she still actually own a vcr she does own a and VCR. uses it okay so here's one <clears throat> thing i will say vcr versus when dvds came on the market they scratch they scratched vcr tapes you could do anything to like caleb was watching vcr tapes that i watched when i was a child but the DVD tapes have not survived. Yeah, I, I am not a fan of DVDs. We don't even buy DVDs anymore. We we only buy everything digitally, we buy everything on iTunes because this way you don't have to worry about it and it's available on every device. Anthony wants to watch it on his iPad. I could watch it on my iPad. We could watch it on our Apple TV. You could watch it on your phone. You know what technology we totally just did not have in my house? Like we missed altogether, Laserdisc. Did you guys do Laserdisc? Uh, my, fam my parents did and I did because I went off to college and like, I've always been a technology geek, so. Oh my goodness, Laserdisc. They were giant, right? I bought one right? at Montgomery Ward. That's where I bought it. You know, yeah, the disc was like this big. It was like the size of a record player. Like and that's like, easy to store. And they couldn't fit a movie on one disc. Usually it was on two discs. It's that big and they couldn't fit yeah. it on one? Yeah. My sister wrote, Hi, Terry. Be kind and rewind or we'll charge you. Yes. Oh my goodness. And it was like such a hefty fine it was usually almost more than renting the video oh, it was ridiculous like they had so much to do at that video store right i know and they had like 50 of those rewinders please kathleen wrote hi kathleen lol yes vhs and rewinding yes it was a real thing <laughs> david dieter wrote hi david oh yep i think i own a portion of blockbuster I guess there's only one blockbuster left in the world though, memories. I don't know how they went out of business because I am sure that my rewind fees like at least put some kids through college, right? I know. I always wanted to work at Blockbuster. They like there was a couple of kids in my high school that got to work at our local Blockbuster and I thought that's got to be coolest the job funnest ever. job. Maybe a record store would be better because like at all the movies about music. working in a record store, but yeah. Jeff Fisher wrote, Hi, Jeff. I always say it, but you guys put out great content. I do like keto products for a snack, dessert, or when I'm not at home and I need something to eat. I think it's what makes keto sustainable. Yeah. He's like, I'm about 70% carnivore now and I crave meat a lot. Wow. Have you guys thought about doing a week or a month long carnivore challenge? It could be fun to do as a group. I would totally do that. That would be a great idea. I We've would. done, we did do a carnivore for a week or five days mm -hmm. and we've been talking about doing it again. 
but we asked last week for some like group ideas. I'm all in. So we've got a couple here. Yeah. So Kathleen Gulberson wrote, Hey Kathleen. I love the idea of doing a beef and butter group fest. Oh my goodness, yes. So we're going to have to start setting this pick, up. Yeah, I was going to say, pick a date, yo. Gail Crisp wrote, Hey Gail. Joe, I laughed so hard when you talked about the scale and going to the bathroom. Because that used to happen to me with the other bathroom business, if you know what I mean. Yes. The scale would go up. How? <laughs> that happens to me. Seriously. That was, over, uh, that was over a year or so. At that point, I decided no more scale. So funny to hear a man get just as frustrated as us women. So excited you might be doing a band workout. We just showed you guys. Yeah. I have bands. Maybe Rachel can do a series as our instructor. Oh, dear Lord. I'm going to put an eye out. <laughs> I mean, like, I'm afraid. I can see myself accidentally overextending and then launching that thing someplace else. She, she wrote, Joe, I really hope that keto becomes the norm in the future. I have said this before, but Rachel, how about a coffee fast? I would love to do it myself. I just haven't done it yet. Gail, why are you trying to hurt me? No, she's she's not saying fast from coffee, like coffee only. Oh, okay. Well, now I'm in for that. <laughs> uh, Sylvia wrote. Hi, Sylvia. Guilty as charged. Sorry, Rachel. You got to eat your organ meats, girl. Man. Robert wants you pumping iron. You got to have the strength. How about a week-long challenge of eating organ meats, some <laughs> beef heart, head cheese, liverwurst, a Braunschweiger, just this past week, and I got some peep heart and excited to use it mixed in with oh, some ribeye. man. Heard it does not have a very distinct flavor. It doesn't. I've actually given okay. her beef heart three or four times, and she has not known that she's been eating beef Are heart. Are you serious? Yes. When was this happening? I mix it in the ground beef. Oh, my goodness. Uh, maybe it's an option instead of the very flavorful liver. Why, if, if you've been sneaking it into the hamburger meat, then... Come on, week-long organ meat challenge. No, I'm not fisting that, I'm not fist bumping that. <laughs> Sylvia wants it. Well, maybe I'll do it for Sylvia, but... Wow. Okay, Bambi Hamilton wrote... Hi, Bambi. When I was 19, an endocrinologist diagnosed me with hypothyroidism and wow. put me on a medication and around an 800-calorie-a-day diet. What a... <sighs> I've had more success on keto. Good. All the doctors I've seen since since then have said that my thyroid is fine. Awesome. That's something that I don't understand because I was under the impression that it was supposed to be a lifelong condition. I love that it's That not. was a long time ago. I'm 63 now. Bambi, that is awesome. You're talking about, again, 19 to 63. Wow. But like at 800, like how is that supposed to be it's, sustainable it's, it's in your sustainable. life? It's not sustainable. And it's like horrible. I'm so glad that you're not on that. Uh, Jason Butler Hi, wrote. Hi, Jason. Now we're talking about um, like just keto, like long term. Okay. I have been slowly planting seeds in people that I work with and my friends. Sooner or later, I'm going to have them believing. I really hope that keto becomes the norm one day. That is awesome. I think that. I truly believe it is. I, you know, one of the reasons why I'm so passionate about like sticking with this is I want people to see the longevity of this, that it's not a fad in my life and it's sustainable. And I think that just like sticking with it myself is is a good outward demonstration right. that it's possible to the people around. And I do think it plants seeds. And, right. and I think that that's, that's awesome, Jason. Like I, I know that you're really blessing the people in your life. Okay, Jen Delaney wrote. Hi, Jen. I doubt it's going to happen in my lifetime, but I think the sugar and mass food production industry is going to go through what the tobacco industry did. I do too. Vilification and lawsuits as people realize how deadly it really is. Yeah. Along with that, lawsuits against the government for promoting it. Right, serious. I find it so sad that so much dietary regulation is driven by large corporations and big pharma. True. On another note, I would love to see some of the keto fam highlighted more on your channel. Yes. Well, we just did that today. I love that. Uh, interviews and pictures and the like. You never know when someone else's story will become your inspiration or find someone else's unique solutions methods that will work for you as well. Absolutely. like it's We would love to do that. Anybody that would be willing to be interviewed by us, we'd love to set yeah, that up. Yeah, we can do some kind of a FaceTime or something like that and do some like little interview things like once in a while. That would be awesome. It would, especially if you've had like a unique health improvement like with a specific you know, disease that you've had, um, that would be awesome, right? Because when someone sees Joe's story and then they've had arthritis themselves, suddenly like health and the keto diet becomes a, a possibility to them. When they hear my mom's story and they're a diabetic, then all of a sudden, you know, the world opens up to them too. Right. You know, like it's, they need to hear 
what is your specific thing that keto has helped to improve in your life? Like I think about the family that had the son with Tourette's right. from last week. When you have a child that has Tourette's and you see, wow, there's like some forward positive movement in this area, you're willing to give it a shot. Yep, absolutely. So Shanna wrote, Hey Shanna. My husband and I are so lucky. Our primary doctor recommended this lifestyle to us. Wow. We mentioned it to my husband's cardiologist and he was on board too. Oh my goodness. My husband came off of insulin and his blood pressure medicine has been decreased. He also doesn't need oxygen anymore. Wow. We are not very strict, but we're working on it. What a difference your doctor being on board makes. Like, yeah. I don't think that they even realize, like, what their realm of influence, like, how much this can change, you know, so many lives by just suggesting this diet. And this is why I truly believe that keto is going to become more of the norm. Like, more and more doctors are going to start realizing that, hey, this is making a difference. I mean, so many doctors right now, you go into them and they're like, no, I want you to do this. But what's happening is this patient is like, well, I'm going to try this anyway. And then they're going back to their doctor and be like, I know you told me don't do this diet. I know you told me to go eat fresh fruits and vegetables and, and eat a low-fat diet. But I did it this way. And now my triglycerides are down and my arthritis medication is gone and my diabetes medication is gone and I'm off of blood pressure. And the doctors are having no choice but to go, huh, maybe I need to look into this it's thing. It's hard to argue with the results. Right. And I really commend those doctors like Dr. Barry who maybe said, hey, in the past I recommended something, but once I started to see good results from a keto lifestyle, now moving forward, I'm going to recommend this to my patients. And he talks about all the time like the guilt that he feels sometimes for having recommended some of these diets to people. But right? you can't let that stop you. No. So, so long as the doctors are willing to put their pride aside yeah. and ignore big pharma. Exactly. That's the key is that we've got to get big pharma away from this because they're going to do everything that they can to stop the keto movement because it's going to put them out of business. I was going to say because they can only make money when you're sick. If everybody starts doing keto like, you know, the manufacturers of metformin and stuff, they're going to be bankrupt. Yeah. You know? I'm okay with that. Me too. Amity wrote, Hi, Amity. Myself and my two children, ages 10 and 8, are keto. How cool is that? I have been since January 5th of this year and my boys since April. Wow. My 8-year-old is autistic, OCD, and has an addiction to food. He eats more than a 300-pound man. Wow. Keto helps him so very, very much. Medications are less. Meltdowns have gone from several a week, sometimes even several in a day. We are now down to two since May 1st. Wow. Wow. What a difference. Oh my goodness. Can you imagine just the day-to-day -day quality of life improvement yeah. in that house? Absolutely. Oh my goodness. We are celebrating. I'm telling you. That is awesome. Keto is going, it's, it's making headway. That's awesome. Okay, last one. Got to be from the jokester again. We started with the Viva jokester. J. We're going to end with the jokester. I love it. So Viva J wrote, Joe lost all his P-tones and the scale prevented him from entering this felt seven. Ah, uh, so close to the 170. Still haven't gotten there. I'm like teetering, like 180, 181. You lost your P tone. I lost my P tone. I love it. Well, that is all the comments for today. So if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below and we will answer them on next week's Keto on the Couch. I'm so excited. Okay. If you like what you saw today, do us a favor, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.